Hey everyone, this is Pick for Life. Sorry for being a little late. Actually, give me a second. I I've decided I'm going to start putting in my... Even when I do recording, just uh, so you guys get a little bit better mic sound than from my phone. So, all right. Thanks everyone for making it. Uh, let's see here. Oh, hey Frankie. Hey Mariano. Thanks a lot for being part of the chatter today yesterday. We're here with uh, the latest release from the Remix line. If you guys don't know the Remix line, that's the, the cassette line from um, Ocular Maclash MMC. This is the TFCon uh, LA Exclusive 2023. This is Motif. So you can see RMX 10 EX, the exclusive Motif, which is their version of Rewind. Um, it, do, it does come with some special things that we haven't seen, we won't be seeing in the, major, uh, the retail release. So we'll go over that. Hey, Lowell, how, how's it going? Um, but let's go ahead and get started. The packaging is one of the things that define this uh, from the regular release. You can see this really nice artwork here by our good friend Chico King. Uh, same thing on the top. On the bottom, you can hear we're like, what is this? Just like they did with the um, with the Tempo. Uh, they have a, a Tempo exclusive. They have a blaster, I guess in this case, twin cast themed uh, box. This time, the Autobot logos that they were including were planning to include made it on time, so you can go ahead and throw that on here. I haven't done that yet, but that is included. And you, as you could, as you saw, it does open up just like a tape deck. Um, obviously, you would want to like open up the sides, and honestly, this part should actually be at the bottom as well to kind of complete the look. But still, it's a very cool, um, playful design and packaging, and you can just pop. Oh, well, we're supposed to be able to just pop them out. Hold on, give me a second. The packaging is pretty secure, so you can pop out motif right from there. Uh, all the other stuff is in here, like the cassette tape and stuff like that, the other uh, accessories. So one thing that you do want to be mindful of is when you open this up, um, because of the way the hinge and stuff works, when you pull it out, just try to pull it out as far as possible, then pull down, just so you don't damage that mechanism, because that is um, how how that works. So, uh, the other things I want to note, as usual, we do have the credits for the different team members here. So, um, the design by AK, sculpt by Jessalyn B, uh, packaging and artwork by Chico King, photographs by Ian Reed, AKA Hard Return, video manual, which I have done, but I'm waiting for the artwork before I can upload that um, by me, and then powered by Mastermind Creations. All right, so that's it for the packaging for the most part. Uh, it does have a plastic clamshell. Again, it does come with a regular set of accessories, which are two guns and three alternate heads. So four heads total with uh, the retail release, at least you should be getting four heads total and two guns. And then if you were getting the TFCon exclusive, Hey, for lifers, yeah. Hey, Titan. Hey, Clinical. Hey, Freakenstein. Anthony Brown, thanks for being on the show last night. Um, so the exclusive stuff that you're getting is an alternate head with a kind of a higher mask, which is not actually uh, all that iconic for Rewind and Eject. You get two kind of square shoulder pads, and then you get two more angular ones. And we'll show this off in comparison to what it actually looks like uh, with the stock pieces and uh, i know a lot of people have been saying that it's supposed to be a um a, a set where you make it look more like the idw uh, that's not the case these are supposed to look more like the toy and studio ox uh, design actually so um, we'll take a look at that oh thank <laughs> thanks thanks anthony brown anthony brown um was joking that i, I am trying to recognize my contributors more like during the Chatterday monthly Chatterdays, and I have a running total of the highest contributors for 2023. And he said, just by calling people out on that, uh, people are going to be competing for that, and I'm going to make more money, which is nice, I guess. But that was not my intention. Um, and then right away, uh, Sh uh, Shoki from Shoki Reviews, he dropped uh, I think 20 bucks and took the lead already in 2023. So Anthony Brown's trying to come up and, and take one of those. Um, uh, gold, silver, or bronze medals, I guess. He wants to be on the podium. All right, so in addition to the packaging that which, which we see here and the accessory, he does have the book the booklet, which doubles as instructions. The back also has his bio, some art, uh, artwork, the transformation 
thing, which is kind of old school. A different set of artwork here, more photos, more credits to everyone. And then the instructions. This time they actually did glue it together so that um, when you open it up, it actually does um, hold together and you can see the instructions and how they work. Um, I actually do prefer how they did, I think, some of the originals where it was like a, the, the booklet for old cassettes where you stuck it in here. But I have noticed that um, they're a lot harder to get in here, these tapes. So maybe they felt like with the instructions, they just wouldn't fit that well. So I don't know. But it's still kind of cool. It's kind of a slip cover. I will right, we'll put that off to the side. Uh, we also get his uh, cardboard stat card, kind of the same photos and same stuff that we already have here. So um, the only additional stuff are his actual stats, but quite nice. Put this off to the side. Hey, Mike Rogers. Hey, Ridiculous Badger. Hey, Jermaine, the Gooch. Uh, who else we got here? Jonathan Walker, Mark Troy, Freakenstein. I think I got everyone else, right? Alex B, Angela Pelly. So yeah, I think I got most of you. So if I miss you guys, I apologize. I'll try to get it done later. Um, so out of packaging comes in cassette mode. And he looks really nice. All The paintwork on this one is really nice and crisp um, because it has large swaths of just like big pieces uh, as opposed to a lot of smaller pieces that we saw in some of the other figures like uh, Tempo and Jaguar where it was kind of like broken up a lot. Um, this one looks really clean on this side and this side. And you can see what the deco looks like for his robot mode. Um, in alt mode, you can actually store the weapons. That's one of the things that they've all been doing. Hey, G-Tony, how's it going? Uh, G-Tony, I think you're up there in terms of donators, too. I, I feel like you're in the top three. If not, you're just outside of the top three for 2023. Um, and uh, you can actually store them in here, but they store that they ship them separately, and I'll show you how to store them um, in alt mode uh, once we actually do the transformations. But yeah, I mean, there's not much else to say about this one. Um, I don't have any of the other cassettes in cassette mode. Oh, uh, do I have one of the... No, I don't have any of the cassettes in cassette mode, I don't think. Oh, hold on one second. One second. I have uh, some of the Masterpiece official ones in cassette mode. So... These are actually real life cassette, full size cassettes, as opposed to micro cassettes, which are what these are sized at. So obviously they're going to be different, and this is laser beak, so the deco is different. But just to see, show you the difference in size, and that's really it. There's not much else to talk about in alt mode. Uh, he is pretty hefty, but we'll go ahead and weigh him in a bit. He does have a significant amount of diecast. G Tony trying to get up, get on the podium, stay on the podium. Uh, does it come with, Thang said, does it come with a third-party pencil to stick in the holes to, <laughs> to wind up the tape? No, no, it doesn't have that. I wonder how many of us that are in the chat right now are old enough to remember cassette tapes and VHSs and having to wind those up. Uh, Jermaine Sutton is the leader with 20. Well, yeah, uh, Jermaine was up there, I think. And then, um, like I said, Shoki dropped, I think, 20 bucks last night. So he's up there. Any case, so let's go ahead and get transformation. His transformation, unlike some of the other figures that we got, um, is really simple, very basic, very satisfying. So you won't have to worry about breaking anything or anything like that. So let's go ahead and um, get started. So the first thing you want to do is kind of pull up on this piece. These are the arms. That kind of releases this section here, which makes the legs up. You want to pull the legs down. You want to rotate them so that they're facing forward like so. You're gonna, you have kind of like a double-jointed knee here. Um, you basically won't want to pull out on the top joint here. I mean, on the bottom joint. You don't want to mess this shape up, but if it happens, it doesn't matter. You can always put it back into position later. Uh, come to the bottom of the feet, and these pieces fold down. I think these are die cast. Um, these fold down to make the heels even. These split apart, and this is actually where the, the weapons will store when we get back into um, tape mode. You just tab them in here, but we'll do that in a bit. These are on double hinges. You want to rock them back. These two panels are solid die cast. They have tab in on either side of the leg. And again, you just kind of want to get the knee pushed down like so. So this, this piece is kind of flat. And that's it for one leg. We'll do the other leg now. Again, pull up on this just a little bit. There's a tab here that holds this into place. Rotate it 90 degrees to get facing the right, right direction. Pull out on this section here. Like so. And again, you want to kind of keep this weird piece here um, uh, flush up against here. Fold up 
these heels, both halves. Oh, they're kind of tight. And then we're going to fold these panels back. And as you can see, they have tiny little tabs here that hold them in place with the rest of the leg. If these hip skirts flipped up, just go ahead and pull them down. They are supposed to be up for a transformation. Then we're going to come to the upper body. Thanks, Jermaine. <laughs> Jermaine. <laughs> All right, this is not, I keep saying that you guys don't need to donate, and now I made it a competition, which it wasn't intended to be. I just wanted it to be a recognition thing. One of my, uh, one of the YouTubers I watch is a chess um, YouTuber, uh, Agad Mator. Um, he does that, so that's why I was doing it, but this might, this might be the way, um, this might not be the way. So, okay, flip these little panels around to make the forearms. You're going to extend these joints here and hinges to make the bicep rotate it 90 degrees to face the correct direction coming to the forearm here you want to pull this up you see the hand you just twist it around on that joint pull this down and you'll see that there's a tab here that goes into this and that forms the arm just bring it down and you're done with that arm at this point you can fold down the chest and the back panels this is the only major complaint i have with this figure is that these don't lock in at all or even have like kind of a soft lock in. You can see there's even kind of like rail pieces that kind of guide guide it, but there's nothing that holds this into place. It is friction held and it holds fine, but if you touch it at all, they like just move it all over. So I think they could have at least put a little nub to kind of help it sit into place. That's my only major complaint with this one. I guess not even major, a minor complaint. So same thing on the other side, just extend the arm, rotate these pieces rotate not rotate rotate these paces piece of one of my paces what is going on uh fold up this piece rotate it around have this in rotate this way get the shoulders down and then fold these pieces in place and with that that's it you have rewind in his um his robot mode i guess the only other thing that i did uh, notice is that these screws are on the front. I wonder if I can. I wonder if I can get these around. Uh, no, you, you can't get them around. I was hoping you can get them around so that you can have the screws on the back, but that does not work. I wonder why they didn't just do it that way. But they're mostly hidden by the hip skirts, so no big deal. But he does look quite nice. So as you can see, all around, he looks very clean. He is very flat, as you expect uh, a cassette bot to be. Um, he does have kind of the low face mask where a lot of his nose is showing less Optimus Primus. And then again, the exclusive head is more, um, shaped in a way that's, uh, I think supposed to be like studio ox style with a higher, um, higher mask. I'm not really sure to be perfectly honest because I don't know the studio ox style all that well. And the way these that you pop the heads off and on is just from a ball joint. I'm going to use one of the alternate faces really quick. I'll just show you really quickly. Alternate faces, Jermaine. <laughs> just wait for the next fans toys live stream, Jermaine. Jermaine, calm down, calm down, man. <laughs> you're you're definitely on the podium. Don't don't worry. So he has uh, also these actual faces that you can see, no mask, and I think this is what he looked like on the. I want to say the toy. I think the toy had um, faces. I could be or I could be mistaken, but in any case, nice metallic blue eyes. He has a screaming face, kind of a straight face, and then uh, actually, is that a smirking? Yeah, this is kind of a smir smiling face, and this is kind of a slightly frowning face. But you just pop those off and pop those on. Um, just to do some quick comparisons before we go look at the guns and the shoulders, I have a couple that I wanted to show you all. There he is with. Uh, the MMC IDW um, rewind. Let me move these off to the side for a bit. Uh, here he is with Frenzy Rumble, whichever one that you prefer to call them as. Here he is with a, a mini bot, which is the size of Bumblebee, which is parkour. Just did a review for him earlier this week. Um, and then I always do MP44 because he is the required comparison for Masterpiece. So let me move these to the back so you can actually see them all kind of in line with one another. 
So I'm okay with this. I'm okay with the scale. I think it's good. I do prefer them over the super tiny masterpiece ones, which are obviously micro cassettes, so they have less to work with in terms of material. But I think they look really good. So again, you can kind of see the difference here between him and him in terms of the IDW comic style. Uh, if there are any other comparisons that anyone has donated, uh, let me know. I tried to um, I tried to do as many comparisons that as that makes sense, logical ones. But if you donate, like I said, if you donate a dollar ninety nine, the least I'll do is try to get you a comparison of another figure that you might be interested in within reason. Um, Tony seventy seven actually says. Try to pop the um, MMC head onto the IW. I actually tried that, and the ball joints are close in size, but they're not the same. So the one on this one is slightly bigger, uh, and I tried to do that already. So I did my homework. You, these heads are not in, uh, interchangeable, unfortunately. All right. Um, Weapon-wise, both my tapes are still sitting in the box. <laughs> You you can just you can just leave a comment. You don't have to donate for me to see that comment. <laughs> but I appreciate it. Uh again, slow down. Slow down. The guns, they do have a lot of playability. So they have these these tabs here, which are kind of a square tab. They can peg into the back. Or like the G1 toy, they can peg into the sides of the arms. Both the inner and outer arms if you want. So you can get them weaponed up like that. Come on. Come on, hands work. All right, there you go. And they tab in just, just fine. A lot of you will probably use them more in the traditional gun style. Just flip this piece down and plug it into the fists. And that works just as well. They look really nice. They're painted gold, highly detailed, nice sculpt work. I don't know if that's Jessalyn who did the weaponry sculpts or if it was AK who did design them or some combination of both. But they do look quite nice. And I, again, I like the fact that they gave you some playability options here. There are some other square holes here. I thought that maybe you can plug them in here, but these are too small. All right, so let's move these off to the side for a bit. Let's talk about the other accessories. So as I said, there are two sets of shoulders, but really um, this one is the core one. And I don't know which way it's supposed to go. I imagine the details with this kind of T embossing are supposed to go in the front, um, but you can do, do them either way. So just to remove them, you just pull up on the shoulder. There's a tab that goes into here, as well as some ridges. Uh, we'll just do this one real quick. And you just slide this one on, make sure it's tabbed in. And these pieces uh, slide on over top and tab in as well. Uh, you cannot transform it with this big piece on. And once you, oh man, I was gonna, I was gonna mention this. Once you get one of these on, this big piece slid on, it's really hard to get off. So um, you probably have to go in here with something sharp and thin uh, to get these off again, the, at least the, the cover one. So you can see just how different they are. They're just bigger shoulder details, if you like that look. And again, the, even the square one, I think just the square one looks most like the cartoon and, the, and um, in the G1 cartoon, he had very squarish shoulders. And I don't think he had any details. So if you want, you can always pop it on like this. Any case, we're gonna pull these off because, okay, there we go, we slid this off. And here you can take a look at what it looks like as a square shoulder as opposed to this kind of angled trapezoid one. All right. So again, um, I asked them specifically and they said it was supposed to be more for Studio Ox style, but whichever, whatever floats your boat, you can transform this one, the, the figure with this one on, but we're gonna go ahead and take this one off and put this stock one back on. Come on. All right, where is it? All right, this one again, just slide it on and there's a tab at the bottom, like so. All right, really quickly, articulation. The articulation is pretty basic, um, but it's very good. He, he is on a ball peg, so it can go all the way around. Look up and down, he has the head wobble. He has shoulder joints, as you saw in the in the body itself, which helps for transformation, as well as in, in the shoulder. The shoulder pads don't move. He has the bicep swivel. He has kind of an upper bicep bend, 
that's for transformation as well as a no lower tr more traditional elbow band but you can make use of those to basically get all the way up coming to the wrist it does have rotation and it has very tiny hands that are just one molded piece for four fingers no articulation in thumb no tabbing necessary for the gun because they are small and they're just friction held and they hold quite well again these pieces are only super annoying pieces like they just they don't flop around but you know you're that's the main area you're going to grab him uh speaking of which you should be able to grab these pieces and this is a uh, articulation that i've never seen before is that um you can actually pull out on the chest <laughs> outwards and then that allows you to get access to a butterfly joint i guess or but more like a chest pec joint so you can see he can go a little bit inwards a little bit outwards but then you get to see a little bit of the hinge um i think that's kind of cool but i don't know why they felt they needed to do that but it's cool that they did hey team man how's it going hey oh hey tm just saw you as well yeah he can flex his pecs <laughs> that's how he gets the ladies uh those uh pec flexors coupled with his four pack here and i mean he he has an ab crunch and an extender so he could definitely hit the gym because he has these rock solid molded abs here Look at him. Look at this. Man. All right. He's taking a lot of energy on protein. His hip skirts can go up to the front, out to the side. You can kick up 90 degrees, kick back 90 degrees, out to the side. Those are all friction very well. They hold up very well, even though the legs, like I said, a lot of the leg is die cast, these outside panels on the calves and the heels. He does have a thigh swivel. It is a square cut one. I, you guys know I don't really like those square cut ones just because how they break up the look of the sculpt when you rotate them even a little bit. He does have double jointed knees, which can get him going all the way back. And depending on how you want it, you can get up even more. Actually, actually, I think it's triple jointed technically because there's one, there's one down here, one here. Yeah, so it's triple jointed technically. But yeah, there we go. And then coming to the feet, um, I saw, uh, I actually watched Bobby's um, review when it first came out, and uh, he did actually miss this one, or at least I, I believe he missed. He said there was no ankle uh, forward and back. There actually is. It goes along the cassette um, spindles or whatever they're called. So those actually turn in addition to its foot. So he doesn't get a whole lot going forward. He gets a little bit, but he gets a lot going back. He also has toe articulation. So he can point up, uh, not really down, and then he can't rotate on the foot, but he can get some ankle tilt. So you can see that there's a screw here for ankle tilt. Uh, it is restricted by his big calves, um, which is a bit of a shame, but he gets a little bit, which is more than enough for like traditional poses, but you're not going to get like a really wide stance and have him be flat footed. But yeah, the amount of articulation he has for such a little figure is quite nice. I mean, he's not even that little. Like, I did compare him to parkour, and he's, he stands taller than parkour if you do um, bottom of the head. But he does have quite a bit of articulation, which I like. Um, I think AK does a really good um, design. He's, like, my favorite, one of my favorite designers, bar none. And um, between this and the combiner, all in, all, all, all in, all included, or what, what do they call it? All in one um, combiners engineering he's just a genius he's just an engineering genius uh, and but he never tries to sacrifice you know at least basic or even advanced articulation like the ab crunch and this weird pec pec joint that he has so yeah very appreciative i don't think there's anything else i need to say about robot mode uh is there anything i did comparisons oh i did wait i, I mean i need to do weight so i did want to let you guys know how much he weighs because he is pretty hefty for such a small figure so just the core bot by itself is uh, three ounces, or that is 86 grams. So let's compare that with parkour, who's 112. Compare that with frenzy, 82. So he's and he has his guns in. So he's 88 versus 82. So quite quite a hefty little bot here. 
Um, I think that's it for robot mode. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Ah, oh, I just realized I forgot to start the Q&A section and uh, a poll of any sort, so. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, hey, Travis White. Hey, Transpan. We got a lot of people in here. I thought not that many people would be interested in this because I know a lot of people like Bobby have already done this, but. Uh, oh, compare him to Road King, please. Oh, Jermaine, you're making me do it. All right, give me a second. You and your obsession with Road King, man. Don't you know all the big box in my collection are in the back of the, sh of the shelves? It makes it so much harder for me to do comparisons. I hate you. All right, let's put this down. But given that you... Hey, Jay, how's it going? Given that you donated like $10 today. <laughs> T-Man says, I'm only here because it's you. Anthony Brown said, I paid for Springer and Sideswipe. Side swipe. Oh, my gosh. All right. Hold on. Springer. Oh, Springer's all the way in the back, too. Sideswipe or Sideswipe? Where's my Sideswipe? Uh, oh, there he is. Springer, you're killing me with these larger box comparisons. Maybe I can get Springer out without... Knocking over my movie figures. Uh, gentle hands, gentle hands, steady hands. All right, got them out. Okay. All right. See, this is why I don't want you guys to donate because then I actually have to do extra work here. Uh, I only have uh, the Mastermind Creation Springer, so if you were hoping for Apache, you're out of luck. You ask for it every time. Yeah, well, you know, that doesn't change the fact that he has to go back in the show. Mark Troy says, Rogue King is the best MP ever. All right. Uh, Transparent says, I'm not, but Pake is cool. I don't know what that is, <laughs> that is for in response to. Oh, the good is I watch pretty much all of your reviews. I just don't get to catch them live most of the time. Well, I'm glad you were able to make this one. Hey, Maddie Dennis, compare him to Unicorn's box. Uh, you don't, you didn't donate, so you don't get that. And I really hope you don't donate because I'm not going to get that box. I'm not going to even take my area. All right, so I got all. Well, I got some of the generous folks contributors uh, donations in. So let's go ahead and oh no. Oh, oh. That's the wrong guy. I need to leave him, and I need to remove him. Oh, jeez. Now my floor is just filled with Transformers. Ah, oh, hate you all. No, I don't. I really love you. For lifers for life. All right. Let's get this guy transformed back into um, cassette mode, and we'll finish off the review. Is this in focus? I feel like it's not in focus. All right. Let's get this guy transformed back into um, cassette mode, and we'll finish off the review. I'll show you guys how to actually store these as we go back. So the first thing we'll do is kind of deal with the chest. We'll just leave these pieces up like so. Okay, just be careful with them when they're in this position because there's nothing holding them. So um, you don't want to push hard or grab hard from up here and potentially break them. So flip those up. We'll deal with the arms. You want to rotate them inwards 90 degrees. We'll open this tab here, flip this down, rotate the fist around, close it up, and that has a small tab there. And then you just want to lift this up, make sure your shoulder is aligned correctly because it has barely enough space to squeeze in between here. And then you want to collapse this elbow bicep piece in like so. And then lastly, or you can do this before, you flip these pieces around with the angular piece and you can see how these cutouts uh, align together. You do want to leave this a, a bit up because you're going to need to bring the leg in to, uh, to finish the transformation. All right, same thing on this side. Rotate this in. We'll flip these around first this time, just so you guys can see. You can do it either way. Open this up. Rotate these around. Flip this piece down, and then get that tabbed in. Make sure you get cleared in here, and then get these up. We'll just leave them like this for now. All right, going to the lower leg, we're going to rotate these inward 90 degrees. We're going to open up these die cast, cast panels, rock them forward on the double hinges, and now that's where you can come 
take these black tabs here on either side of the gun. You want the barrel to be facing towards the knee and you want the little peg to be facing towards the calf. So like so. The scope kind of sits in between the tabs here. Where is it? Or near the tabs here. Tab that in, that's secure. The other tab, once you close it up, will fit into this one, so close that up. Don't forget this little heel piece. You guys need to split this open on both sides. And then we're gonna get this uh, upper knee joint tucked in. So you basically just wanna go like this and then push in. And then you wanna rotate this up. I suggest just bringing this hip skirt up just a little bit, just so it doesn't get potentially caught on the, the um, hip joint here. Bring this up, there's a tab right there that goes into this, like so. And now once that's done, you can bring this. The one random thing, I don't know why they didn't make this a little bit longer to um, fill in this gap. I guess maybe when you're, yeah, see, I don't know why they didn't do that because that could have fit there just fine as well. So I don't know why they left this gap here. In any case, uh, same thing on the other side. So rotate the hips in or thighs in 90 degrees, open up the lower leg, the calves and the shin. When you bring those up, Hey Mario, thanks for the one dollar. I appreciate it. I, you didn't need to do that. Thanks, you know, just your time uh, on yesterday's uh, chatter day was more than enough. I appreciate it. So get these tabbed in, get the heel split like so, and then once again we're gonna collapse this knee in like so, and then rotate up. Get this tabbed in. Get this down. And just give it a quick press at the top to make sure everything fits in flush here. And with that, we have Motif, aka Rewind, back fine. Yeah, that's it for the review. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Um, very quick review of the remix line. I love it. I can't wait for uh, them to do some of the others. Um, I'm hoping they're doing some of the more interesting ones that we don't usually get, but who knows? But we still need to get. Um, the ram horn at the very least um, to kind of and eject to round out the Autobots um, core blaster ones. And then we'll see if we can get some of the more weirder ones like the dinosaur ones and the combiner ones. Hey, Baker Jen, sorry, just just saw you. Please compare with Steel. Oh, sorry, Steel Jaw. Uh, we should have done that in robot mode. Where's Steel Jaw? I don't even know where Steel Jaw is. Where's my, oh, there he is. I can bring him out, but it's too late to compare him in robot mode, unfortunately. And technically, Mariana, you had to donate one ninety nine for a comparison. But since you were on yesterday's chatter day, I'll do it for you just this one time. All right. So, yeah, uh, I just wanted to say we've been on kind of a hot streak the last few days. I, I checked, including this video, I think in the last three days or, yeah, since the 17th, I've uploaded like five different things. I've up uploaded a short. I uploaded a toy hunt. I did a chatter day and I did two reviews. Uh, so we're post the comparison in your community tab in your, com what, what? in your community tab. I guess I could. Um, uh, but yeah, that's five in just the last three days. And you know what? And I'm, I'm feeling kind of burnt out. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow night. Yes, that's right, tomorrow night, because as you saw, I got a big shipment of stuff, and I have more stuff coming, so I can't slow down. Uh, we'll be reviewing this little slash big guy. This is the Pangu Toys. Um, why is this gimbal being weird? Uh, Pangu Toys Omega. This is, I'm sure people have already said it. This is like a direct KO downsizing of dx 9s Gabriel. Uh, and they did a really good job with it overall. So I'm going to do a, a quick comparison of of this guy with DX9 Gabriel, uh, as much as I can fit in this review area. But um, really is a really well done downscale. Uh, and then they also added, where, where is he? They also added that um, robot from the Wei Zhang. Oh, here he is. They also added this little guy and uh, some blast effects. So they added some bonus stuff. So I, I'm pretty sure this is a direct copy of the uh, Wei Zhang uh, Ultima Guard 
um, Omega Supreme, and they downsized it. So, yeah, that's going to be tomorrow. Um, I would also probably have one Tuesday, except I'll be at the Capitals hockey game. Um, so Tuesday night, so I will not be recording or going live on Tuesday night. Uh, I know people are going to probably be like, hey, Pake, I'm going to be at the Capitals game on Tuesday night. We should come hang out. You know what? No, we're not hanging out because I'm going to be in a suite and you guys are going to be peasants in your peasant seats. No, I'm just kidding. I am going to be in a suite, but I didn't pay for it. If my company is hosting it and um, they they asked me if I wanted to, me and some of my team members to join. So uh, I will be in the suite. So if you are at the Capitals game, let me know. I'll try to meet up with you if you're a local. Um, but yeah, we've been doing a lot here on the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Oh, one last thing. Toy Dojo did uh, want me to let you know. So if you guys ordered this exclusive through Toy Dojo, uh, this, their shipment should be coming in in the next week or so. So you should start seeing these start shipping out from Toy Dojo uh, next week. If you were lucky enough to grab one, I heard that they went out um, uh, very quickly. Yeah, they, they went out stock very quickly. Uh, when does the regular pre-order for this uh, figure happen? I don't actually know, Mr. BDI 1971. I have no idea. <laughs> Anthony Brown said we paid for the seats with all the donations. No, no, they're free. They're free. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the, the Titan says Steel Jaws uh, transformation is tricky. It can definitely be tricky. Make sure to watch the official video manual, which I did, or my review. And Clinical says, where can you get this? Unfortunately, the exclusive, I think, is sold out at all the retailers. They did make an allotment available to uh, some of the partners, like Aegis 3 and Up, um, Toy Dojo, and stuff afterwards. Um, but I think those sold out basically instantly, unfortunately. But the regular release should be coming out um, pretty soon. All right, did I miss anything? Uh, thanks, everyone, who joined. If you guys enjoyed what we did, please give it a thumbs up. I will always appreciate it. And, again, it keeps me motivated. Uh, and that's the thing that, you know, the fun that I have um, doing this and the interactions I have with you guys or what has kept me really going strong. This is week 12, by the way, of 2023. And my New Year's resolution for at least one video a week is going strong. I, I think, again, I'm probably averaging three or four at, at this point. Again, I did five just in the last two days, three days, two and a half days. So. Um, we're going to keep it going on strong. I'm going to try to make it all the way through the 2023 year. Um, if you guys have any interest in joining the conversations that we had in our Discord channel, so my Discord channel is linked below. Uh, you can always uh, join us there. We talk about random things. Apparently, there are a lot of Texans in my group, um, like Mariano, uh, Shoki, uh, Baker Jin. They were having like a, a little slumber party yesterday. In, in in the chat in discord in one of the channels and i was like do i need to make a private room for you guys because you guys are all sharing like chili recipes and stuff like that i'm like texas stuff right how to throw lassos and anyway anyway click the discord it's a fun place to hang out um let me know if you guys have any interest in chatterday once you get in there because that's how we get organized i got to give you a role to get into the chatterday channel um, but with that that's it for today i hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you tomorrow night with tango toys omega have a good one all